At the end of August last year, I moved out of the student co-op I'd been living in for the year. Freshly graduated in the middle of a pandemic, I had no idea what I was meant to do, but I decided to move to Montreal, a city that I felt a bit more laid back and relaxed. I moved into my partner's one bedroom apartment and experienced living with a significant other for the first time in my life. Autumn was amazing. I spent so much time outside, hiking, having picnics, biking around the city. But as the weather grew colder and we were stuck in confinement together, the struggles of our space were basically magnified. Originally, the only solution we thought we had was to move and upgrade into a larger flat. But every place that we looked at just didn't match the price and luminosity we have in our tiny apartment. And I think going out and doing all these viewings actually made us so much more grateful of what we have. And we decided that we would try to work within our space. And although we tried to make small changes, rearranging all the furniture, we decided it was time for a full on transformation. Here is what it looked like before I came in, and it's much emptier. Some of the storage organization is a bit questionable, but overall it's very minimal and serves the functionality that Andrew needed being someone who just lived alone. So starting with the entry space, which used to just have a metal table from the side of the road, and later one shoe rack also from the side of the road, we recently bought a bamboo shoe rack that's slightly taller so we could use the top two levels as a shelf. And we also added in this floating shelf to the top to tie them two together and add a little space for us to just throw things onto. I drilled in some hangers to the backs of both doors just to hang our go-to backpacks, toques, scarves. And within our coat closet, I also did the same on the inside of the door. So moving into our one large living space, before one side was just this cramped seating space with slightly uncomfortable small couch and two flimsy coffee tables that basically directly face our cluttered desk mashup. So even when you're trying to relax, you're still being haunted by your work. And since all of our furniture had been hand-me-downs or curve finds, we decided it was time to invest in some high quality multifunctional pieces. I've been eyeing this Canadian furniture company called Article for a while now. Their pieces are very modern yet timeless. When I shared my story with them, they graciously offered to gift us some pieces to help our spatial reconfigurations. Thank you so much to Article, holy shit, this is wild. And everything was shipped straight to our door with contactless delivery and they ship almost anywhere in the US and Canada for a flat rate of $49 or free shipping on orders over $999. Our main goal was to transform this single room into a more relaxing open space and adding more functions into the two main areas. So the first piece we chose was this beautiful light gray sofa bed. I really want to be able to host friends who are visiting post COVID of course. And this one really stood out to me from all the sofa beds I've seen from other brands as well because of it, this super simple folding design. All you have to do is line up the upper cushion to the base and you can use the backrest as a pillow or line it up to the bottom too. And since we're in lockdown, we've just been using this bed for watching movies before bed. And we've also realized you can separate the cushions to create this like two sofa seating space, perfect for like gathering around the table, playing board games. Which brings us to the second piece that we got, these Borica nesting tables. I love that you can move them around and separate them. It's made the living room a really good study space alternative. With the smaller, higher table, sometimes I'll prop up my laptop and then do all of my writing and notes on the lower table. Then below it, we got this absolute vibe changer, and that's this ivory Texa rug. Under Andrew's persuasion, it has made it into the home. And this hand-woven piece is seriously the softest, most brightening point of our space. I think it also does a really good job of like visually separating the two areas of the room and makes yoga or meditation sessions extra comfy and padded. I've also found this really cute woven floor poof. It's very flat. I think it's like a meditation cushion, but I usually just use it when I wanna like eat at this coffee table or study here. 
To the left of our couch, there used to be a clunky table that just jutted out, but now we've replaced it with this IKEA Evar cabinet to store all of our electronics, art supplies, and other miscellaneous goods. It's accompanied by this cute little crate that I relocated from my desk. I keep a lot of my computer accessories here and also stationary bits. And to the right of the couch is a small little side table just for our little plant and this really tall shelf and our beautiful asparagus fern that has just been sprouting out everywhere and coming out with these beautiful fluffy shoots. And then moving along that, we have our little Ikea floor lamp, our big jade plant, and this small little bookshelf that I brought from my past room. On the top left, I have all my past journals. On the top right are all my design books. Bottom left is fiction, nonfiction. Bottom right is all of Andrew's books, half of which are comprised of finance books his dad gave him that neither of us read, but that's okay. On top of the shelf, we just have some more plants and going along our windowsill, we've also put some small plant babies there. And of course, on the edge, we have our beautiful monstera plant. And then this leads us to our dining office space. What I didn't like about our old office space is that it only served as an office space. We couldn't really use the tables for dining and it just looked really cluttered with the two different tables. Ideally, we'd like to rent a separate office space. For the time being, I've used these plants to try and hide his computer screen. I think it just really helps to like merge this very digital corner into the rest of our Zen apartment vibe. And this large dining table is also from Article. It's the Sino Oak dining table and it's actually extendable. So it's really perfect for a work slash dining hybrid because it can seat from six up to 12 people. And right now we only extended the one side because this just fits our apartment perfectly. So I guess technically this table has like three sizes. For the seating, we've kept our two original office chairs, though we do want to switch them up at some point. And then we added Article's Oak Kieran bench with a soft pebble gray upholstery that is so, so comfy because it has like padding inside of it. And the detail is just so beautiful yet simple. Like I didn't realize how much I would love this bench until it arrived in person. And I wanted all of our other seating to be backlit so that it would feel less cluttered. And what I love so much about this bench is that it can serve either as the dining area of this room or it can be pulled over to the living room side and just act as additional seating around our little tables. Tucked onto the other side is one of our three oak Essie stools, also from Article. And I was worried that a stool might be uncomfortable at first, but it actually has this like little divot in the middle. So it feels like a hug for your bum. We have two more of these, but we've actually hidden them around the room to serve functions in other parts. And whenever we do host people, we can just pull them into our living room. In the corner, we just put this crate for his amplifier and our Wi-Fi is hidden inside of that. Then above it, we have a little IKEA floating shelf. And we have this beautiful, genius, talented, gifted tote that I thrifted. Above that, we have my silver philodendron, which climbs all the way to our new lamp that I folded a few days ago. We had bought this like light bulb extension from Ikea a few months ago, but I've been procrastinating making this lamp. It's actually super easy to make. You just have to do two centimeter pleats along your piece of paper. I don't know how long they were, <laughs> but you can always make it according to whatever size you want and add more pieces of paper. You can also add additional pleats to make more complex complex folding designs, but we found that this simple one helped to disperse the lighting the best for our needs. At the top to close it, I just folded the corners in and using wire, I just made this little piece to balance the lamp onto the light bulb. This lamp is both like a decoration piece, but also just adds so much nice mood lighting to the space. That's one thing that's so important for us. It makes us want to stay in this room from like morning till night, seriously. Now onto the wall beside our dining table, we have this poster by Deep Gnome and below it is a shelf we found on Facebook Marketplace that serves as our little kitchen extension 
for my tea stuff, our toaster oven, and also our microwave and rice cooker, which is on plant rolling wheels. And I'll bring you into our very tiny, tiny kitchen. There's not much to show besides, I guess, what's in our cupboards. But we do have this really fun system for tracking our chores and establishing good habits because Andrew and I both have a little competitive streak. So we found out that this chart tracking system is extremely effective. Above the fridge, we have like cereals, pitas, and then Tupperware and baking supplies. Beside the stove, we have our oils and sauces with our dried foods, noodles stored above. And below, we have our canned goods, protein powders. And behind us, we have drawers for our cutlery, kitchen tools, foils and wraps, and more grocery bags. Below the sink, we have cleaning supplies and our onions and potatoes. Then we have our pots and pans. And on the top cupboards, we have our spices, nuts and seeds, then coffee, tea, baking stuff, and all of our plates, bowls, and mugs. And now moving through this weird door combination, we have our bedroom. And if you watch our vlogs, not much has changed in our bedroom. I've added my clothing rack. We found this lovely bed with pull-out drawers. And then we have our Kia Malm drawers, which we split down the middle. Above that, we just have some trinkets, mirror, an old vintage clock, as well as this random print that Andrew just stuck up here. And then on the side of the bed, I usually put this little brown coffee table that I'll sometimes use as a mini desk. Don't bother me, I'm working. Above that is our amazing lamp that we got. It functions from a desk light to a reading light and it's dimmable so it's just been so perfect to have. Above my desk, I added these little clips on twine to just put some postcards and cute little bits from friends. Definitely need to add more stuff and make it cuter but it's good for what it is now. And in the empty space here with our other SE stool is actually meant to be for a desk. This is the one that we want to get from Ikea but it's been out of stock for months so Hopefully next month you guys will get to see it in place and by then this little white table will probably be gone Now moving into this tiny hallway, we have our linen closet which also has our home renovation tools Laundry detergents towels. I've used cardboard boxes to make these little shelves just so we can add more space for storage And then to the closet on the right We have all of Andrew's pants all of my dresses and some other random bits Lastly, we have our bathroom, very small, standard, boring bathroom. We have our third SE stool here, and it's been the perfect spot to put my laptop while I watch vlogs or K-dramas while taking a bath. It's so nice. Our mirror has space for our products behind it, and on top of the toilet, we just have another pothos plant and our winter pinecone garland. Though once stores open up again, I think I'll hit up IKEA to buy a little shelf. And yeah, that's pretty much the extent of our apartment tour. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad I can finally show you this so I can vlog all corners of my apartment now. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending some time hanging out with me. And if you want to see more of it, make sure to subscribe and watch our upcoming vlogs. Or you can join me on Twitch where I usually stream studying Korean or Saturday morning workouts. So yeah. That's all. Thanks for joining. I love you. Have a great day. Take a breather. Do a little 15 minute meditation. Stretch a little. Goodbye.